Hi, this is The Business Guy. This week, I just found out that I'm going blind. I have glaucoma. And I now only have half of the vision in my left eye and the right eye was on the way. Can still see out of my left eye, but some might call it legally blind. I mean, this just happened. This was totally out of the blue. No clue. I mean, no warning. In fact, glaucoma is the number one leading cause of blindness. It's high pressure, similar to high blood pressure, but just in the eyeball. It slowly destroys the optic nerve until you can't see at all. The optic nerve is not one nerve, but millions of nerves, millions of nerves or fibers that go from the back of your eye all the way back to the occipital lobe in the back of your brain. And with high pressure in the eyeball, untreated, it kills those nerve fibers one at a time until you can't see at all. Glaucoma is called the silent thief of sight. It doesn't hurt. It doesn't really give you any clues that it's there until your eyesight slowly starts to deteriorate. And with current technology, the damage is permanent. The interocular pressure is supposed to be 12 to 21. 21 to 25 means that you'll go blind in about 10 to 15 years. 25 to 30 means you'll go blind in seven years. Pressure more than 30 means you'll go blind in three years. Mine was 38 in one eye and 40 in the other. By the way, I'd really like this video to go out to a lot of people. I want this to be a warning to people to get their eyes examined regularly. So please click the like button below so YouTube promotes this video. And you can also share this video on social media text it to others. And if you haven't already, you can click the subscribe button below so that when more videos come out, you'll be up to date right away. So I was prescribed eye drops to lower the pressure. Doesn't always work. I went back two days later and it was nine in both eyes. And I have to use these eye drops for life. Now I can't get back the vision that I already lost. It's permanent. It's usually genetic. I just found out today that my father takes eye drops for eye pressure as well, though he wasn't diagnosed with glaucoma. Get your eyes checked regularly. Believe me, it's worth it. Earlier this year, I needed a new pair of glasses, so I went to an optometrist to get an eyeglasses prescription. As part of that process, I had the complete eye exam where they checked the pressure with the air pressure test. And at that time, it was 25 and 26, as I recall, but little damage to the optic nerve. So the optometrist told me that he was concerned about glaucoma and he diagnosed me with pre-glaucoma. And I didn't even know what glaucoma was. Nobody in my family had glaucoma. There was no history of glaucoma with any of my relatives. And because there was no history at all, this diagnosis was totally unexpected. I will have to visit the ophthalmologist several times a year. I have three eye drops I need to put into my eye per day, two or twice a day upon waking and at dinner. And the third one is right before bedtime. If I don't use the eye drops, I go blind. One of the medications I have to take is $4 a month. One is $184 a month, and one is $487 a month. It's strange, I've always had incredibly good eyesight. After all, I'm a licensed instrument rated airplane pilot. I suddenly started having some significant issues with my eyesight. My grandfather had cataracts, mother had cataracts, so I just assumed that was it. With cataract surgery, you can put it off until it starts to bother you. You can do it at your leisure. An optometrist will pulverize and suck out the the remnants of an old lens, then they put in a new artificial one, and presto, instant good eyesight. It is one of the most common surgeries and the one with the least complications. With glaucoma, however, there is no warning sign. It doesn't hurt. There's no pain that tells you there's a problem. It's like a thief in the night that you don't know that's there. And whatever damage it wreaks in the meantime is currently irreparable. It hits people of all ages. It peaks at age 41 to 70 years old, but it also hits people much younger. It happens to babies, teenagers, people in their 20s and 30s. In fact, I was with a pharmaceutical company early in my career reviewing studies with physicians and the promotion of certain medications, vaccines, and antibiotics. I have a degree in science and I actually got into medical school. Then the medical school shut down before my first day of class, and I found my true calling as a businessman. I let myself get sucked down the Google rabbit hole, and I saw a study that showed that those on amlodipine blood pressure medication like I am have a 26 higher risk of glaucoma. So I was convinced that was the cause. Then I called for the results of my eye exam that I had earlier this year, found out that in the eye exam I was diagnosed with pre-glaucoma, and the optometrist only recommended that I monitor it not treat it, did not schedule any follow-up visits nor appointments with an ophthalmologist. The pre-glaucoma diagnosis was given 
one month before I ever took amlodipine, so the blood pressure medication theory went right out the window. I've done a lot of reading online about glaucoma, and I'm also trying to learn more about it. I've been watching YouTube videos, I've read ophthalmology journals and studies, and I have a background in reviewing medical studies in the past so I can understand them. And I've seen in several cases they have mentioned that early research is being done by the Glaucoma Research Foundation, and many of the things they have done have been what has inspired innovations that may ultimately turn into treatment. So I'm interested in doing whatever I can to continue these innovations and continue inspiring new treatments, and also ultimately inspire a cure for the disease with the research that they're doing now. In fact, I saw reports of innovations using stem cells to repair and grow optic nerve fibers. It's challenging because the stem cells don't just need to repair the nerves at the back of the eye. They actually have to grow nerve fibers all the way from the back of the eye to the occipital lobe in the brain. So technologically repairing a nerve fiber is no small feat, and there are millions of them. And one big problem is that in laboratory studies, they've been able to grow nerve fibers, but many of the newly grown nerve fibers would not transmit a signal. So we have a long road ahead of us to repair damaged optic nerve fibers. As I mentioned, it can happen in any age, really. And I've been diagnosed recently, and I've been told that juvenile glaucoma is experienced by multitudes of young people. But I had no idea that I should even be going to have my eyes checked for glaucoma because my family did not have a history of it. And so I think it's important that everybody knows that this can happen at any age. Even if you're not born with it, you can get it when you're quite young. Everybody should be going to get regular, complete eye exams on some regular basis so that you know that your eyes are okay because there are no symptoms or other indications that you have glaucoma other than losing your vision, which you can never get back. So I think it's important that people know that they should always be getting their eyes checked so that they can ensure that they don't have the disease. And if they do, they can get early treatment. Early treatment has been a huge factor for many people. And the doctor told me so many people go in to see the doctor after they've lost their eyesight. Fortunately, my disease was caught earlier than most. I wasn't blind when I went in, but I did already have significant damage when it was caught. So I have to use eye drops for the rest of my life. You don't have to lose half of your visual field like I did. And that's a big reason to get early treatment and be watched closely and regularly. Ultimately, vision is critical and people want to be able to see. And until they have a cure, people are going to continue to lose their vision. And so obviously, it's a very important mission to try and come up with a cure that can help people so that they don't lose their vision going forward. So please, please, please go have an eye exam and have one regularly. Please comment below what you find out. And if this video helped you, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and share this video. This is The Business Guy.